the Midway State made an impressive debut with their first album, Holes. And after a long process, the band just released their first single called Atlantic off their eagerly anticipated new album, Paris or India, set for a May release. Press Plus One met up with the Midway State recently in Toronto. And you guys are based in Toronto, if I'm right? That's right. Yeah, and the Junos are in Toronto. So what about the city helps foster, you know, the musical that's coming out of here? Like, I think it's I think it's a, I mean, do you mean in terms of the Juno Awards? Just in terms of all music. Yeah, well, it's, it's a big city, which is nice. So as a musician, there's there's a there's a massive artistic community that you can stick your tentacles out into and 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 work with different people. So we grew up in a small town, and that's how we started working together. We got lucky, but uh, yeah, it's nice to be around a, a large community of artists for sure. So your debut album Holes came out in 2008, and your second album Paris or India comes out May 31st. 2011. Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And you've already released one single from it. That's right. Yes. Atlantic. Atlantic. Yeah. So what can fans expect from your new album? Um, they can expect uh, a wonderful Midway State experience of uh, honesty and, and musicality and songs and words. <laughs> and words. Very important. Words. Two songs. <laughs> It's like poem. Mind blown, yeah. Yeah, no, we, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we, we spent like a year working on it. Um, and we're very, very uh, close to this record, and it's a very honest record and very inspired. So, we're um, we feel good. And you were nominated for Juno in 2009. So, do you have any advice for first-time nominees? Um, I don't know. Our experience is very limited. We we had a great time. We had a lot of fun. Just go and have fun and and soak it in and invite your parents because they think it's pretty cool. What excites you about the Canadian music scene right now? Um, I don't know, I think it's, we were talking about how it's, I mean, in, in the world music scene, it's just, it's very cool how the connection between artists and, um, you know, the support system, the fans, is, is that much closer and that much more direct, and I think Canada is one of the front runners in it. I mean, we're very lucky to have all the social funding for art here in Canada as well, and, and that fosters it, and I think, I don't know, I think Canada's definitely, um, the future for a lot of other countries. We're lucky to be a part of it. And what's the most surprising thing on your iPod? Surprising thing on my iPod. I have my iPod with me. I could look. Oh, uh, I don't know. You can decide. Let's see here. This could be embarrassing, actually. So let's start at the top. Adele Arcade Fire. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. I'm actually not ashamed of that. She's really good. So. I love her. She's kind of ferocious. Yeah. She's totally ferocious. Yeah.